ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. This morning we have a couple of different jobs for the rotator. The first one's a little different than what we had thought. Uh, it was supposed to be a 20-foot container box uh, that we we're going to unload here and transport on our rollback to a residence in Cape. And when it got here from California, it is not a container box. Um, I'm not sure what it is. We can still get it unloaded, uh, but my original plan is out the window since it's not a regular container. Uh, then here, when we get it unloaded, I don't know if we're going to go straight to the residence and try to deliver it, or we have a couple of drill rigs that we need to unload for a uh, good customer in a rail yard. Anyway, here we go. First job. That's a... Is he going to have enough room to pull out? You just going to lift it and let it pull out, or are you going to swing it around? Because I'm not so sure you can clear that if you swing it. Well, no, I'm not. I wasn't planning on swinging it. He ought to be able to go forward, no problem. Too bad it's not that one. Yeah, that's a container box. Yeah, that's it. That's not a container box. Yeah. Big on the trip, ain't it? That's a container box. Yeah, no, nah, I know. That's not a container box. No. Nah. No, nah, I know what this stuff looks like, man. Ugh. Oh. Dude, I've been doing it for a while by the bill. Two 20 footers is all we need. Two. Just go, just take the push bar and push it through to the other side. We may. Yep. Unscrew the push bar. Here, Gavin. No, nope, through, through the forklift hole. There, Gavin. Take this and grab it from the other side. Larry the Cable Guy? Yeah, man. All right! Man, I, hey, I, I, my family's from Glasgow, Kentucky, man. For real. My, my notification tone is, I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. Oh, what, on my phone. <laughs> yeah. No, not get her done, it's the, I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, man. My, my great uncle, I, 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 I had some real light skin, great uncle tall. You know, it don't matter. No, no, no. That's just how they were. You know, like, you know, they fit their environment. Probably, <laughs> you know, you know how it was. They were right around his age, so you know what I mean. And uh, that's just funny because he had us doing something when they had a lighter. Remember that old Larry the Cable Guy lighter? Yeah, he was over there, get, get, get her done. He was over <laughs> picking up a bunch of nails and a bunch of old kids who was young. I'm young, sir. I'm a bad. Yeah, just leave that drawer open. A couple of these on each, one of these on each end. Not yet, we gotta use the spreader bar. Yeah. We need these equaled out to see how far they go up. We need uh, uh, yeah, hoses, the fire hose to put around these, right here on these corners. No way those are not. Fire hoses. Should be uh, the very first. Should right be in there, yep. Right here. Okay. Put one at each corner, wrap it around the hose, or the endless loop sling. Hey, Gavin, make sure it goes around both pieces of the endless loop sling. All right, Dalton, let me get the outrigger set and then I'll have you hop up and grab the tube. We need a tube and we need two of the uh, 
end caps and a whole bunch of those. You got it. No, nope. One of the D-rings on the bed, but yeah, just tie it off to one of these so that when I raise the boom up, it uh, freeze pulls it out. That way we don't have to manually pull it. Yeah. I know, Gavin. You could already head the box off by yourself. All right, take those loose, please. All right, now Dalton, you can, now you can get up there. And then I can rotate it around a little bit. So you don't run into the winches. Now, see you've got clear, you got that diamond tread plate to walk on all the way up. Now, just pull the, here, no, 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 just pull this front pin, slide the rod back a little bit to get that front tube loose, get the front tube loose on both sides, and hand it over here. Careful, Gavin, don't scratch that paint. All right, that's it. Now, come on back down. Right in between here. So we need the end caps out of the very front. Probably. Guys, remember how to set this up?
Where'd Dalton go? And wait a minute, you get the matching set. There's a, they're serial numbered. There's 740 and 740. Okay, you got the right ones. There's 739 and 740. And where's your hard hat? Where did it go? Get you a chin strap. All right, Kenny? We need to get these. This is easier if you do two people. Just set it on the ground. Pick one end up. Ah, darn it. Where'd that thing go? Ah, oh, there it is. There is a up and a down on there. As long as they go on the same way, right? No. There's an up and a down on them. You can't install them correct incorrectly. Oh, yeah. Okay. How do you know which one's which? There you go. Okay. See? Like, yep, like that. Ah. Okay. Now. Not what I wanted, for sure. Huh? Gonna need more of these. Right. Yep. We need the orange containers or orange slings there. Gonna have to do one one cable. Unless I was doing it off the back. Because otherwise it's gonna twist it. No, nope, we're just gonna have to do one. Yeah. Gonna have to do the orange. Here, that's good. Gonna have to do the orange. Here, to there. Yeah. You're gonna have to do one end at a time or turn it like this. Need your clevis. You gotta put your sling in there first, buddy. Yeah. You need another orange sling. We gotta have two slings to make the V bridle. And me one end. There's a chin strap on these, don't they? Yep. They make them with them on there. All that hair, man. I don't understand. Uh, I've seen when I was on the whole ridge. Summertime. <sighs> yep. All right, I'll lift it up a little bit, and then we'll put the, well, we got to figure out how far up does each of these go on in the sides. Eight, at least eight foot, maybe bigger, wider, and those are 20, so you're going to have. I know we're going to have some fill in we got to do. That's what we got to figure about out. About five, five to six feet on each side. So a rim sling on the end of each one of these should be good. Okay. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. Yeah. That's what? Ten foot tall? If that. So five and a how long are they? Five? No, they're eight. Eight? I put two rim slings on one shackle right here. The, yep, so they're hanging down long. Do not basket them because we want one to go to each of these slings like Kenny was just talking about. Okay. Yes, you'll need a clevis. Yep. We also need that in it too, don't we? Uh, a 20 footer. 
Not yet. Uh, no, because okay. this will oh, yeah, okay. this will hang okay. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will hang down to where we can reach everything. We don't have to climb, maybe. Yep, just like that. Y'all gonna need another clevis. Y'all hook them together, right? Correct. Yeah, we'll need two more clevises. They're on the ground. Somebody's already got them. Now, take that. Uh, here, Gavin, where's our uh, tether line? Put your tag line. Yeah, I'll get it wrong. Put the tag line through here so that whenever I bring this around, you can walk these slings around the outside of the box. You know, hold on, Kenny. I don't know that we're quite ready to go with those yet. Okay. Because what will happen is one of these will go to one of these will go to one side and one will go to the other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me get it swung around here first. Well, this will stay on this side. What I want Dalton to do right now is just take, all you got to do is walk that around yeah. to the other side of the box. it around all right Kenny now you see what we're gonna do we're gonna take one of these to the front one of these and the other one uh -huh. okay. like yeah, that yeah. Yeah. so we are gonna need a couple more clubs. yeah I was you were right I I was thinking just one but we're gonna need two it's still early on a Monday after a holiday. Uh oh. You gonna one say it? One of those didn't have that rubber hose inside of it. On the other side, I had to regroup. Okay, so now let's get this one in. Deal, but it'll work in a pinch. I hope. Yeah, as soon as it rolled up, I said, We're going to unload that. I'm like, We are, huh? Unload this container. I said, That ain't a container. No, it's not. Either way on that, guys. Yeah, try to make, we got to really make sure that these yeah, get, they're on, the edge. they're on the edge and the rubber, uh, or shoot, the fire hose takes the punishment.
get it, Kenny? Yeah. We should cut these and just slide them on there. And try to get the flat part against it. Because it's going to cut in uh -huh. here. Just try to push it down in there. Because that strap's going to want us to come up. Yeah, just hold it there and let's see. When we put some tension on it, we'll check everything. Oh, we almost didn't need those. We could really uh, probably double them back. Why are we twisting so bad? Snatch block is twisted, that's why. All right, everybody clear? Yes. I don't like this. Nope, no, I don't. All right, now take your uh, tag line right, there. right through there. Yeah, we could have we could have taken that uh, could have taken one rim sling and slung it uh -huh. yep. in a basket. All right, now don't you just yank it off. Right now, I'm just going straight up with it, but the way the uh, snatch block is, it's going to want to twist in and straighten up with that snatch block head. See how the wire's twisted? Yeah. It's going to twist this way as soon as it leaves the deck. Kenny. Ah, dang, that son of a gun, Tevi. Ain't no 12,000. Stay out? Yeah, just have him drive out. Bring it this way, yeah, or dump. I'm just gonna bring the, yeah, just keep it straight. We're just gonna go straight down with it. It's showing about 19, tubber 19 to 20. Hold on. Let me see what the guy wants to do. 